What's up guys, this is AppleTech752, and I bet you didn't see this one coming, but neither did I. iRemoval Pro just made history by releasing the world's first MEID signal tool that works 100% on Windows. That's right, there is no Mac OS required for this. As you can see, I have an iPhone 6 right here. It is an MEID device. Right here you can see MEID and it is on the activation lock screen. And we're gonna be bypassing with calls, data, FaceTime, iMessage, everything 100% fully working on Windows with iRemoval Pro, the latest version 4.0. So with that being said, let's jump straight in. I'm gonna right click this file and say 7-zip extract files and okay. And as you guys can see, there is a folder that says iRemoval Pro version four. So we're gonna double click that to open and then double click the iRemoval Pro application in here. You can download this tool from the iRemoval Pro Telegram channel. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're already inside the channel. So just go ahead and download it from the chat. And as you guys can see right here, we have the iRemoval Pro tool checking our device. And perfect, our device is now supported for MEID slash GSM signal bypass. If it says no signal, that means you're still gonna get activation with FaceTime, iMessage, and everything else working. You're just not gonna get calls and data. But in our case, because it says signal right here, the keyword is signal, that means we're gonna have everything working, including calls and data on our MEID device here. Let me show you guys once again, MEID. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. I'm gonna click OK, and it's gonna redirect to the payment page. From here, as you can see, there are three different options. This is likely to change in the future. You're gonna to wanna to select the MEID signal option for your device and go ahead and automatically register your serial number. It will be instantly installed on the server so you can use the tool right away. All right, I successfully registered my device and we are now ready to use the tool. If you run into any issues, you can always contact contact the official developer of this method at t.me slash ifpdz and he should help you out and fix whatever issue you might be having. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and open up the application just by double clicking it again. And as you guys can see right now, it's asking for permission and now we're back inside of here and it's gonna say activate in just a moment. Checking and we're just gonna give it a few seconds to check and then boom, activate. We are ready to click the activate button. So let's go ahead and do that. And boom, just like this, the tool is activating our device with MEID, calls, signal, FaceTime, iMessage, everything fully working. So I'm just gonna let this process finish here and I'll show you guys the whole thing. Boom, and just like that, data and privacy. All right, you guys heard that? The device just resprung. And boom, check this out. Made by iRemoval Pro, no SIM card installed and device activated successfully. So we are ready to go, guys. Let me go ahead and disconnect this from the computer. And I have an AT&T SIM card right here. I'm gonna go ahead and install this in the device and show you that calls and data are fully working. All right, as you can see, the apps are not installed. That's pretty common if you erased your device with an eraser tool before using the service. You just have to connect to Wi-Fi and then everything will install normally. But in my case, as you can see, it says no service right now, but all you have to do is give it a few seconds and then the carrier is gonna kick in. Boom, there we have it, AT&T LTE. So I'm gonna open up the phone application and dial 611. And as you guys can see right here, we are calling the official AT&T number. You can't use your plan right now. Perfect. And as you can see, we successfully went through and made a phone call. 
I do not have an active plan on the SIM card, but that just proves that we are inside the phone app and we can make a phone call. All right, I just connected to a Wi-Fi network up here, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna open up FaceTime. And as you'll notice, it still says waiting for activation. So we're actually gonna plug the device back into the computer. We're gonna close this message. Make sure to click trust this computer. And then we can close out of the tool again, actually, and run as administrator. Go ahead and allow it to run on your computer. And now we're gonna go inside the tool right here. As soon as it opens up, we'll give it another shot. Sometimes you just gotta do this a few times, run as administrator. And boom, here we go. We're back inside the tool. And now what I'm gonna do this time is click the button that says fix iServices. And this is gonna fix the FaceTime, iMessage, iCloud sign in, all that other stuff on your device. Go ahead and click this button right here. And as you can see, the device is respringing. It just vibrated, and now we're back on the home screen. And it is respringing one more time, as you can see. All right, here we are back on the home screen and it says success. iServices have been fixed successfully. If you still cannot log into FaceTime, make sure to log into iCloud first and then click iServices. So let's see if FaceTime is working. As you can see, perfect, there it is. FaceTime is ready to go. And if I go into iMessage, I should also be able to see that blue. Perfect, as you guys could see, it's blue right here. So that means we can go ahead and send iMessage to whoever we want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the iRemoval Telegram channel. Unfortunately, there is no next time because no more YouTube, as I'm sure you guys know. If you're not familiar with that, go ahead and check out reddit.com slash r slash setup app. There's some more details over there and what's next for moving forward. Hope you guys enjoy this new tool. Have fun with MEID Signal, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.